characters. So um, in terms of taking you off to the side and doing on the fly interviews about what's going on in the task. So then when the girls, just a brief history with the girls telling Trump that I was crazy and being fired in that way, after you go through mental tests, therapist tests, emotional tests, you know, all these tests, you know, um, you know, for me, I was like, wow, you know, I said, Trump, you know, you keep saying I'm crazy, you know, I'm not crazy, but he's apologized three times on national TV and now I'm branding myself. But at the time when I was fired, I, they make you stay at a separate location. So me taking it very seriously, I go back to this location I'm, and I'm like asking God, why did this happen in this manner? So I know in adversity, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. So um, you weren't really allowed to call anyone except for people who had signed off on this $5 million waiver, right? <laughs> they made you sign this thing. So um, I would talk to my mom and my sister. So um, I just prayed. I said, okay, there has to be a purpose to this. So instead of getting completely upset and saying, oh, I'm gonna sue NBC, I'm gonna sue Donald Trump, which I have tons of emails now to this day of like the case of um, building up to sue Mr. Trump in the organization I never pursued because the contract's that thick. Instead, I said, okay, there's gonna be something good that comes out of this. So I decided to put together my publicist, Michelle, who she's over there. Um, she's a great publicist, um, a licensing agent who went after my accessories, the fragrance line. Um, I also have an agent in terms of endorsements. I had a 7-7 jeans campaign right off the apprentice as well as an endorsement from Casino Fortune. So all these things, I decided to start uh, building a team. And of course, my family is really key in that also because without them, you know, the Subway sandwich shop, that had to run also. So it's very important to have a whole team around you to start building my brand. So as, as soon as I started realizing I couldn't walk a block anywhere in New York, I realized that even though um, it was, I perceived negative publicity, it was actually good publicity and, and an opportunity that I needed to capitalize on. So that's when I started assembling the team and building the brand, and that's what you're seeing right now. So that's my. Stacey J wanted young women who are aspiring to become successful entrepreneurs to know the hard work that is involved. Which is to be a risk taker. I mean, don't settle for mediocrity, especially in your youth. In your youth, that's the time to take risks and have your own business. You know, so find a mentor, pick their brain until, like I said earlier, until they say, no, enough is enough, even if you have to do it for free. Just find someone who is willing to teach you, preferably a multimillionaire, a successful person in that area, so you will be have the greatest potential to become successful in the future. She reiterated that being an entrepreneur is not a nine to five type of business, but it has to be a way of life. This has to be your life's passion. Okay, well, I think one of my biggest phrases every single day I wake up and I tell myself, have a positive attitude every single day. So it's already hard enough for being a woman in America and especially a woman of color. So, um, like I said earlier, just don't take no for an answer and strive for greatness. And people don't know that, I mean, a life of an entrepreneur, people don't know that I work pretty much every second of the day except for the time that I'm sleeping. Um, women, young women out there know if you're entering on this profession that I'm in, entrepreneurship, that every single second of your day is spent doing your business. I mean, and a lot of people don't know that. I mean, you just don't walk away at, at five, nine to five job like corporate America and say, that's it. No, your job is every single second of the day until you go to sleep at midnight, <laughs> you know, so.